From 1958 to 68, I learned under my mother, Karpagavali Gopalakrishna. And her practice used to be, she would sing the song, the Sahityam, along with the Sahityam, and we had to play. After the first few lessons, there was no Edirvena at all. It was only her singing and our playing. And as we progressed towards 1965 or so, Rangarama Mahindra suggested that she should teach new songs that she didn't know from the book, from notation. So started a new experiment for my mother. And she does, in this way, she taught me songs like uh, Saundra Rajam, Dikshitar, Entu Koni Manasu, Kalyani Tyagarajar, and uh, Najiva Dara Tyagarajar, Rama Ramana Rara Shankarabarnam Tyagarajar, so many songs that we had never heard of before. And her practice again would be, she would sing the line with the notation and the Sahityam and we had to play. But till then, I hadn't looked up a book, I hadn't even learned how to string the, <laughs> how to string the Veena by myself. She would do everything for me. But come 68, I was transferred to Chennai for my undergraduate studies. I was all on my own. And of course, I had to learn new songs by myself from the book. Rather foolhardy, I started with Bala Gopala. I shouldn't have perhaps, but I did. You know, youth being youth. I started with Bala Gopala. And as soon as he came from Bombay, I very proudly presented the songs. Sir, I had learned this from the book. So as is usual practice, Rangarama Jangar closed his eyes and said, mm, start. I started the Pallavi, it went fairly okay. And then when I came to the Charanam, ah, Anu Pallavi, I played the first line and he said, stop. I was wondering why he asked me to stop. He said, before you interpret a line, learn to learn the line first. Don't take the liberty to interpret it first. Because what I had done was, I had, I had dumbed down the notation to suit my ignorance. I played it plain. He asked me to stop because the notation was very precise. So he said, do you notice how many different, how, how different it is when you interpret notation accurately? Learn to do that, then you can take wings and fly. So that was my first experience, brush with notation. Between 1968 and 1971, when I was doing my BA in Madras, whenever he came to Chennai, I would go learn from him. And then he taught me Niravati Sukhata Tyagaraja, Pahimam Ratnachala Mukhari Dikshitar, Arunachala Natham Saranga Dikshitar, uh, and then he taught me Nirupamana Swami and Pakala Nirapadi. Apart from that, he also taught me how to do Naraval on the Veena. He said, since we don't sing while doing Naraval on the Veena, it's very important that all the syllables should sit at the right place and the melody should be recognizable as slightly different from the original, but not entirely different. And he also taught me how to play a Pallavi in Trikala and all those. Uh, I'll play a short excerpt from Nirupamana Swami because the way he sang the Charanam, I still cherish it. It's like, like a sculpture on a granite. <laughs> 